Hey guys, today we will talk about one of the most fundamental topics in procedural content generation. Noise functions. But what is noise and why do we use it? Well, back in the days, specifically in the 80s, we couldn't afford to apply lots of textures over our object materials. This was due to the lack of RAM memory. So someone came out with a really cool idea. Why don't we generate these textures randomly with some mathematical function? Well, that avoids the waste of RAM and instead uses the computing capabilities of your machine. Yes, but completely random does not add a fantastic variation to our surface, but instead adds a completely unrelated values to it, resulting in a huge mess. We want to approximate something that we usually see in nature, so a pattern that has a smooth transition between his values. We also know that in order to be capable of doing so, we can't simply randomly generate something without any control over it. Our pattern should change gradually so we can have smooth transitions between close points, but quite a significant transition between far points. A random number generator, or RNG, obviously does not have this property. So what are we looking for? We are looking for a function that generates random values that depends on neighbor values. Specifically, we want a function that returns values within the range 0, 1, in order to then use this value for whatever operation we wish to perform. By operation, I mean hate map generation, textures for materials, displacement maps for an object's surface, normal maps, natural elements like clouds, mountains, waves, water, and so many more things. In this series, we will have a look at the most popular noise functions in the computer graphics industry, and in doing so, we will implement a small texture generator in Unity that will allow you to generate and save various noise textures to be later used for some of your personal projects. Lastly, we will use this generator for some projects at the end of the series. I'll show a repository where the full implementation and the details are available. During these videos, I'll show you only the relevant code. So let's start with the basics. A really quick video about random noise generator. So, let's start with the basics. A random noise generator function. I'll be very quick, because this is not really something that we do use in reality, but it's something that will get us projected directly into the topic. Well, first of all, we set up everything in order to be able to generate a texture over some kind of shape. In my case, a simple chord. We generate a texture with a certain resolution format, then we set up all the parameters that we need in order to be able to correctly render our texture. I will not explain these here, maybe we will have a look over these at the end of the series. Finally, we assign our new texture with our custom name to the mesh renderer. In order to be able to generate a coherent noise that depends on a seed, we initialize our random number generator with an integer which will allow us to always get back to the generated pattern. This is a fairly simple concept. Our random generator function is not really random, but rather pseudo-random. Or, in other words, it depends on some factors, hidden from us, that can be easily recovered with an integer C. We will cover random generators in another video, but bear in mind that random number generators is still a fundamental topic in computer science and security. After this, we simply generate for each texture pixel, better known as texel, a color that does depend on our random value. Obviously, the colors are defined in a range between 0 and 1, so our value should also be in this range. And in fact, random.value function of Unity obviously returns exactly that. Finally, we apply it to the texture and we can check out the result. As we can see, the result is exactly what I was talking about at the start of the video. A complete mess. 
values that are completely unrelated generate something that we cannot use in our application. But it was a starting point, because now from here we will eventually get there. Or also here, or even here. But for today was everything, we settled up our generator and in the next video we will have a look at the first noise function that will project us into proper noise generation functions. So, see you in the next video. Cheers!